Room 7107 RN. Hi Angie, this is Dr. Mark. Can you talk for a second? Okay, I'm going to see the lady in 7107. Can you join me? Okay, great. I'll meet you at the room in a minute. Thanks. Bye. Hi, Dr. Mark. Hey, Angie. Thanks for coming. Yeah. Um, I'm going to see Ms. Kingsley. Mm -hmm. She's a lady uh, with um, cholangitis and septic shock who's transferring from critical care to yeah. medicine today. Mm -hmm. um, how's she doing? Um, Mrs. Kingsley is doing really well. She's Her pain has much improved. Vital signs have been stable. No more fever. Also, she has an order for just, um, to transfer to progressive care, okay. but I was thinking maybe we could look at general care. Okay, instead. I'll give that some thought. Okay. Um, anything else? Um, yeah, she's still on a cl clear liquid diet. Um, Gloria, her wife, is here today and is quite concerned that she's eaten next to nothing for several days. Um, Gloria's a really good cook, so she pays particular attention to her diet. Okay, um, great. Are you free to go in with me? Yes. Okay, all right, thanks. See you as sick as you were. Okay, bring in the surgeon, I guess, and keep that jello coming. There's a spirit. I'm going to go over a couple of things with, uh, with Angie here on the okay. list, if I may. Okay, so on the checklist, S for skin. I didn't see any uh, sign of any skin injury, anything that you've seen, Angie? No, I think concerns? her skin looks well, really good. Oh, okay, great. Um, a is for access. We talked about that central line. We're going to get that out. F for Foley. That's coming out, too. Um, e for eating and elimination, um, no problems with diarrhea, constipation, and we hopefully will be eating, getting you to eat later. Um, and for tea, we've got a few things. One is um, tethers. Um, you've had, uh, you've still got this monitor on your heart. I think that's been okay. Mm -hmm. um, the no rhythm problems. So we're going to discontinue that and, of course, getting the catheter out and the central line out. Um, also for um, for therapies, do you think uh, do you think Carol needs any physical therapy or any other therapies? No, I think Carol's been getting out of bed really well on her own. So I think we, if anything were to change, I'll let you know. But I think she's okay for now. Okay, great. Let me know. And um, and for thrombosis, that means clot. Um, we've been giving you this blood thinner um, with the shot in the abdomen. Once you're up and moving around, walking about three times a day, we can stop doing that then. And uh, last part here on the the check mark. Uh, checking out antibiotics. I'm glad we saw this. I'd forgotten about it. Um, she's been getting IV antibiotics. We, we can switch those to pills now. And, um, and I'll talk to the pharmacist and just make sure we get the dose and the duration right. And then finally, checking on status. Um, you suggested, Angie, that she could go from critical care straight to general care. I, I, I agree with you. I think you're right there, too. So general care just means you're, I mean, you'll still be in the hospital, but you might be on, you'll be in a different room, maybe even on a different floor. But I'll still be your doctor um, okay. today. But um, okay, thank you guys for getting anything. No, I think we're good. I'll work on getting central line out today, and then we'll take up Chipotle, um, and I'll work on getting the bed to general care. And um, if you could just place the blood orders in that. Okay, I'll do that, and I'll get in touch with the case manager. Um, let her know maybe a couple of extra days in the hospital before you go home. Maybe a couple more. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thanks very much. Bye. 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 Is there anything else you guys need before I go? Thank you.